everyone. So today, Abid and I will be going over some API updates to the Ribbon API. So we're going to go over two changes that have been made lately and two updates we've made today. So we're going to be going over the new addition of Enable Disable on two different platforms. And we're also going to discuss contextual tabs. Previously, Enable Disable was already available on Excel, Web, Mac, and Windows but it is now also available on PowerPoint and Word for Mac and Windows on desktop, and Contextual Tabs is now fully available for GA on Excel. So with the new addition of Enable Disable to PowerPoint and Word, you can now set up your add-in commands to be enabled or disabled dependent on various circumstances. So at first, you can set the default state of your add-in command to be disabled for an end user to see. So you can specify specific custom buttons or menu items you might have present in your add-in command to be disabled when the add-in is initially opened. You could also change the state of your add-in programmatically throughout different events happening on a user's workbook or other things that are going on by making a call to the office.ribbon request update to change the status dependent on a certain activity or a period of time. And you could also change the state of your add-in command in response to an event. So utilizing an event handler, you could change the status of a custom button, menu item, et cetera, based off of um, something that occurs throughout the document or workbook. The ways to go about doing this, in order to change the default state of your add-in command to disabled, you can add an enabled element to the manifest immediately before the action element that's already present there. So for example, here you just add an enabled tag and in that tag you would add false. And then we can also uh, programmatically change the state so you can enable or disable your add-in command. So in order to do that, you have to first define a ribbon update or data object, and then you would pass that into the office.ribbon.requestUpdate method. So in order to define your ribbon update or object, you would have some function. So in this example, it's enabling a chart format, but you could have whatever enabling whatever necess necessary item in yours. And you first identify the button that you want to enable or disable. And then you go through and you identify the group and the parent as well. And then you add your ribbon updater to the parent tab. So that way it has the whole control and you have direct access to that button. And then when you call the request update method, it'll update the ribbon updater object. And you could also change the state in response to an event. So you would first assign an event handler. Um, it's commonly done with office.onready, but you can choose to do it however you'd like. And then you would implement your enable function similar to the programmatically changing the state. You would have to also make function enable. And then in this situation, it was on activated, you would enable this button and then on deactivated, you would disable. So there's two functions and that's how you could use an event handler to use that enable disable functionality. Um, this was already present on Excel Online and Desktop for a while, and is now going to be available for public preview on Word and PowerPoint on Desktop. And if you would like to see a tutorial, this is a link to the documentation that has step-by-steps on how to do all of these various items through Enable Disable for Word and PowerPoint. Thanks, Preetika. I'll talk uh, briefly about Contextual Tabs API. Um, so with contextual tabs, you can create new tabs and show or hide existing tabs on the ribbon. Um, this functionality was already in preview for Excel on Windows and online. We just finished up development for Mac. Um, so now we have availability up across all the different platforms. Uh, but do keep in mind that this is only for the Excel application. So I have talked about this in the past, but I'll go through this very quickly uh, to show you what that functionality actually is. So. This includes, as you can see, uh, we have some native tabs in the ribbon that often show up based on the context of what the user is doing. So a great example of that is when you have added shapes onto Excel uh, and you click on the shape, you'll see an additional shape format tab show up in the ribbon. So now you can do similar things with your add-in. Um, as you can see in, in the bottom picture that you can add your own contextual tabs based on certain context that the user is in um, into the ribbon as well. So how do you actually do this? It's it's very similar to Enable Disable. Uh, we have two different APIs. The first one you use to 
actually create and add those custom contextual tabs. So this is all done through the API. Uh, you don't need to make any changes to your manifest, so you can avoid any resubmission of your add-in if you're adding this additional new behavior. And then the second API works very similar to the enable disable logic in Ribbon API 1.1. And you use that API to either show or hide the status of each of these tabs, depending on the context uh, that the user is in. I've added a couple links on this slide as well. Um, we have one to directly to the documentation, and the documentation is the same as it was during the preview phase. And then the second link is to a sample that we have showing you how this is actually done um, inside of your add-in. So that's mostly it. Those are the updates for Ribbon API. Uh, we're excited for you to try them out, uh, especially the, the one that is in preview. So please try out uh, the enable disable for Word and PowerPoint and give us any, any feedback that you have. Um, so that's that's all for us.